Hey everyone, I'm Tom from Sleep Foundation. So over the last few weeks, I've had the chance to wear and test out this, which is the Aura Ring 3.0. I've been wearing it while I sleep, while I work out, and uh, just go about my daily activities. There's a lot that I've really come to love about this ring, especially as a sleep tracker. I think this is a sleep tracker that most people are really gonna love. But there's one thing I really don't love about it. Stay tuned to find out what that's all about. All right, well, let's talk about who Aura is. So the company was founded in Finland in 2013. Today, they have a, an office based out of San Francisco. They sell their products all over the world and it's just the ring. It's sold as a holistic wellness tracker. So not only does it track your sleep, which we're gonna talk about in a second, but also your fitness and your heart rate and the degree to which your body has recovered. So I've been using this for a few weeks. Now, whenever I share with somebody what this device can do or what it does, what it's tracking. I have to admit, I've, I've seen a lot of amazed faces at just how much gets packed into a little tiny device. When you first order the Aura Ring, you're actually not gonna get this ring. What you're gonna get in the mail is a box that looks like this. It's a pack with several rings in it that determines or helps you determine just the right fit. When I talked to Aura, one of the things that they mentioned is that you get the most accurate information from wearing the ring on your index finger or your middle finger. I tried wearing the ring on either of these and I just I couldn't get behind it. I'm not somebody who likes to put a lot of stuff on my hands to begin with, so I opted to wear this on my ring finger. When the ring first arrived, my first impression, aside from just, you know, how handsome this is, was how light this is. Really, it looks a lot heavier than it is. I'm not sure what you can see on camera. When I slip it on my finger, I don't even really think about it. It's not a device that's too bulky or too distracting, and I can move quite freely. Of course, inside the ring is where the magic happens. This is packed with a ton of little sensors to track your heart rate, your skin temperature, all the things that are going on inside your body. We reached out to Aura's communication science lead, Caroline Kreider, to have her tell us more about the sensors in this device. These sensor bumps um, are part of our proprietary technology. So if you've ever picked up a wearable before, flipped it over and seen some flashing lights, we've done that same type of technology that's called PPG but we've developed these sensor bumps that help direct that light directly into your finger on the artery that we wanna measure. We added green LEDs, which help us do all of the daytime measurements that we expanded into. So daytime heart rate, what's your live heart rate if you're spot checking it, when is your body relaxing throughout the day? And then we added a red LED, which is going to enable blood oxygen, SpO2 in the ring. Now, in terms of daily use, I could get about four to five days of using this pretty consistently without needing to charge it. If your battery is running low, your Aura will alert you through your phone if you need to charge it before bed. So you never have to worry about this, you know, maybe dying in the middle of the night. According to Aura, it takes about two weeks of regular wear to establish a baseline of your metric. All of these metrics are sent via Bluetooth to, of course, an app on your phone. So let's take a look at the app. Now, when you first open the app in the morning, it's gonna sync all of your data from the previous night and you're gonna be met with this home screen, which kind of just gives you all of the data in bite size and digestible chunks. For my score about a week ago, uh, indicates a readiness score of 93. It also shows my overall sleep score and then my activity goal progress, as well as my heart rate and a couple of workouts. You can see at the top here, the sleep tab gives you an indication of how long you were in bed and how long you slept. It calculates an overall sleep efficiency score. If you scroll down a little bit further, you get even more data. That sleep score of, in my case, 90 gets unpacked a little bit more and you get more data around how long you were in REM, for example, how long you were in deep sleep. And then even further into the app, you get a sense for at what time you were in which sleep stage throughout the night. This also has a bunch of sensors in it to track your heart rate. And so you get a sense here for what your lowest heart rate was throughout the night, as well as your average HRV. This is probably a good time to say all of this data can be pretty overwhelming. So during my conversation with Caroline, I asked her, how does Aura anticipate its users dealing with so much data? It's meant to be a tool that grows with you. So if you are that beginner user, 
who maybe only has a couple questions about your health, you know, am I sleeping well or not? You've got your scores. And we have people who get really into the weeds and are looking at the exact pattern of their heart every single night, or they really love their activity data, but it just depends on what you're interested in exploring. And you should be able to level up or down based on you know your level and comfort with the data. So again, the idea here is that the Aura app is designed to really meet you where you are. If you're just curious about how well you slept, you have that information in the form of a concrete score, zero to 100. Or if you're a data nerd who wants to really explore the connection between your nutrition and your workouts and your overall sleep, well, you've got the opportunity to do that here also. You have enough data to kind of support those inquiries as well. As a tracker, as a wearable, this Aura Ring is really comfortable to wear. It's accurate, it looks good, and most importantly, it's gonna give you as much data as you need. If you're someone who's not super active, but you just wanna learn more about how you slept, or maybe you're just starting this journey into learning more about your health and your wellness, this is a great choice. If you're somebody who's also really active and you've been on your health and wellness journey for a long time and you wanna kinda of get into the weeds with more numbers and data, I think this is also a really great choice. I said at the beginning that there was one thing I didn't like about this. I use my hands for a lot when I work out. My workouts usually consist of some kind of barbell work, maybe some time on a pull-up bar, and I use machines like an exercise bike and a rower. I found this ring was wildly uncomfortable to wear while I was working out. I couldn't find a comfortable grip. It dug into my fingers when I was trying to hold on to anything or do anything heavy. It just didn't work. And I got so frustrated that I just took it off. I wound up missing out on like a solid 25% of what this device was meant to track. I think my workouts probably represent a small percentage of what most people do. So if you're somebody who's like a runner or a swimmer, or maybe you do yoga or really anything that doesn't require you to grip something tightly, I think you're gonna be just fine. And this might even be preferable to wearing something around your wrist or even around your torso. But again, I use my hands and I hold heavy things and it just was not a device that I could wear comfortably. For me, I'll probably stick with this as just a sleep tracker. If you wanna learn more about our top choices for sleep tech and sleep trackers, visit sleepfoundation.org. And of course, leave us a note in the comments if there's anything you want to see us review. My special thanks to Caroline Kreider for her time and for helping us learn more about the Aura Ring. For my full interview with Caroline, head over to our YouTube channel. We have a longer conversation about the Aura Ring. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you sleep well.